We won't have to wait much longer to witness the most powerful rocket ever built take to the skies again, if everything goes as planned. That rocket, SpaceX's 400-foot-tall, 122-meters, Starship, has completed four test flights so far. The fifth one is expected to happen soon, according to SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk. Flight 5 in four weeks, Musk announced on Friday, July 5th via X, the social media platform he owns. Starship is made up of two parts, a first-stage booster called Super Heavy, and a 165-foot-tall upper-stage spacecraft known as Starship or simply Ship. Both parts are designed to be reused. The four test flights of Starship took place in April and November of 2023, and March 14th and June 6th of this year. All these launches occurred from Starbase, SpaceX's site in South Texas, near Brownsville. The vehicle's performance has improved with each flight. For example, the most recent launch went perfectly. Super Heavy and ship separated on time and returned to Earth as planned, landing in the Gulf of Mexico and the Indian Ocean, respectively. This success has contributed to the quick turnaround for Flight 5. Since Starship performed well on June 6, SpaceX has fewer issues to examine before the next launch. Additionally, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration did not require a mishap investigation, making technical readiness, rather than regulatory approval, the primary factor for Flight 5's schedule. Flight 5 is expected to include an exciting new goal. SpaceX aims to bring the giant booster back for a precise landing on Starbase's launch mount, using the chopstick arms of the facility's launch tower to assist in the process. This ambitious approach will increase the frequency of Starship flights, allowing the booster to be inspected, refurbished, and relaunched more quickly, according to Musk. As NASA moves forward with the Artemis 3 mission, aiming for a crewed lunar landing in September 2026, their own analysis suggests there's nearly a 1 in 3 chance the lander might be delayed by at least 18 months. This prediction comes from a confirmation review for the Human Landing System, HLS, Initial Capability Project, which supports the development of SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander designated for Artemis 3. The review, referred to within the agency as Key Decision Point, KDP, C, sets cost and schedule commitments for NASA projects. Held in December 2023, the review established a schedule baseline of February 2028 for the project at a 70% joint confidence level. This means there is a 70% probability that Starship will be ready for a lunar landing, formerly known as the Lunar Orbit Checkout Review, by February 2028. The joint cost and schedule confidence level is an integrated analysis of a project's cost, schedule, risk, and uncertainty, which indicates a project's likelihood of meeting a given set of cost and schedule targets. The Government Accountability Office, GAO, stated in a June 20th report evaluating major NASA programs. This projected date is almost 18 months later than NASA's current goal of September 2026 for Artemis 3. Additionally, the 70% joint confidence level indicates there's a 30% chance the Starship lander won't be ready until after February 2028. NASA didn't widely publicize the confirmation review when it was completed, but it was mentioned in the GAO report. The report noted that this schedule assessment is separate from the readiness of other mission components, such as the Space Launch System, Orion spacecraft, and new lunar spacesuits. In a statement to Space News, NASA confirmed the dates mentioned in the GAO report, while emphasizing that Artemis III remains scheduled for September 2026. The GAO report's cost and schedule baseline figures are accurate, risk-informed estimates at the 70% Joint Confidence Level, JCL. The agency's use of a 70% JCL to inform baseline estimates is a conservative approach that assumes broad risk realization, the statement read. NASA continues to have confidence in SpaceX as a provider to help achieve the Artemis III mission, the statement added. The KDPC review also set a cost of $4.9 billion for the HLS initial capability at the same 70% joint confidence level. This includes the $2.9 billion fixed-price contract to SpaceX, as well as awards to SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Dynetics in the project's earlier phase, and NASA project office costs. Kathy Kerner, NASA Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, reaffirmed the 2026 date for Artemis III at a June 7th meeting of the National Academy's Space Studies Board. This meeting occurred a day after the fourth integrated test flight of Starship and its super-heavy booster. 
From a human landing system project status, SpaceX continues to make great progress, she said, mentioning the latest flight and other work, such as an integrated test of the elevator that astronauts will use to descend to the lunar surface from the Starship cabin. However, she acknowledged that the HLS effort faces a lot of technical challenges. The next significant milestone is an in-space cryogenic propellant transfer test, planned for early 2025. The GAO report also highlighted the importance of this test. During the confirmation review, a standing review board recommended that SpaceX's in-space propellant transfer tests inform the program's critical design review, currently planned for 2025. At the Space Studies Board meeting, Kerner downplayed reports that NASA was considering an alternative plan to test Starship and Orion in low Earth orbit, similar to the Apollo 9 mission, but admitted the agency was preparing for contingencies. She stated that NASA conducts many next worst failure assessments to understand the impact of one element of the mission not being available. We're always doing those kinds of backup plans, she said. We have not made any changes to the current plan as I outlined it here today, but we have lots of people looking at lots of backup plans to ensure due diligence.